Ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk. Firebase Z, the first DLC map for Cold War Zombies, is dropping this week on Thursday, the 4th of February. I'm sure all of you know that by now, but in this video, we're going to be talking specifically about some new stuff that Treyarch have revealed to us, as well as more importantly, talk about what time this map is coming out and how the Easter egg hunt is going to work on this map. Because up until now, we've had no idea what time on Thursday this map's dropping, so we can prepare ourselves for either an early morning or a late night launch launch as well as when we're going to be able to hunt the easter egg and when they're going to enable the easter eggs on the map so i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback on this as we jump through this in the comments section but treyarch has gone ahead and told us that the update for black ops cold war that's going to include firebase c is going to be releasing at 11 p.m pt so that's if you're on the west coast on february the 3rd if you live on the east coast of america that is going to translate to 2 a.m eastern time and if you're in the uk like me this map is going to release at 7 a.m on thursday the 4th of february so just to make sure you're aware if you live in the west coast you're going to be able to download this update and play the map as soon as it's done at 11 p.m on february the 3rd east coast at 2 a.m on february 4th and 7 a.m in the uk on february the 4th if you live anywhere else, just put it into a Google time converter. I'm sure it'll be able to help you out. But the important thing is when is the Easter egg going to be available? So the map is going to be coming out on February the 4th, but the Easter egg won't be activated until February the 5th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is midday Eastern and 5 p.m. in the UK the following day. That means this map will have been out for 34 hours before the Easter eggs in the map will be activated. So on Thursday, we can play this map to our heart's content. We can learn the map. We can do probably pack a punch. But aside from that, we won't actually be able to find any Easter eggs or try and hunt the main Easter egg for 34 hours. Now, obviously, that's quite an interesting thing. Personally, I have no problems with the map coming out and the Easter eggs not being activated straight away. But waiting 34 hours after the map's initial launch to activate the Easter eggs it's a really long time when you think about it. Looking back over the years of Zombies Easter Eggs, I think the reason why some Easter Egg hunts have taken longer than others is because part of the process of hunting the Easter Eggs is actually learning the map. Along the way, you'll be playing the map, you'll be looking for things, you'll be noticing things. And if it's all there the moment you start playing, you don't know if it is an Easter Egg or not. But with D Machina, and with this map, there's going to be things that will appear once the Easter eggs are active that were not there before. So it's a lot more obvious to our eyes, keen eyes that have been looking over the map the entire time, to notice what is an Easter egg and what isn't an Easter egg. It's going to be really interesting because everyone's going to play this up to a point where they aren't really going to have much else to do besides going for high rounds and just playing the map for fun. The only thing that worries me about this is that those that have the PC version of the game can start digging through the files and find stuff about the map and the Easter eggs prior to them being activated. Now, I'm sure Treyarch are aware of this and they're going to have things in place that will stop this from happening. And I really hope that's the case because I don't want this Easter egg hunt to be ruined the moment that the Easter egg gets activated. But I feel with the system that they're doing by having the egg locked for 34 hours means that when it does get unlocked, the Easter egg is going to be completed pretty fast because normally people can't differentiate items in the map that are an Easter egg step or part of an Easter egg to stuff that isn't because they haven't learned the map. But when they do learn the map and then stuff gets activated, activated and appears, it's going to seem a little more obvious. So I wouldn't be too surprised if this Easter egg hunt lasts the same length as Dean Machina. I hope it lasts longer personally because the longer an Easter egg takes, the more fun it is. Because I don't think any map in Treyarch history has been solved as quickly as Dean Machina was. But looking at the Easter egg approach with Dean Machina, it was quite an easy Easter egg and it had quite a lot of logic and sense to it. And obviously because it was the first map, they wanted to, you know, get a lot of people in and make the Easter egg easier so newcomers can actually do the Easter egg. And for all we know, they might go down the same route with Firebase Z. We really don't know. Either way, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section on this decision. There could be a chance that they might revert this decision and change the times. I don't know. But at the moment, these are the times that we've got. And if it does change, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But following on with today's new intel, we have a load of images which try out class the energy of the future. That basically discusses how the teleporters work, as well as specifically in this talking about a portal chamber that you have to go through and basically quarantine 
quarantine in once you've been in the dark ether. This is a really interesting image because it talks about the actual teleporter that we'll be using in Firebase Z. And the most interesting thing is what is approved for teleportation and what isn't. And if we go at what is not approved for teleportation, you can see that someone, an officer Gustav, went in with goldfish, which merged into a singular blob. But even more interestingly is that dogs have vanished only to reappear days later on fire and very aggressive. Now, even if you've not played zombies much, you know that the OG hellhounds in the old Aoife story are hellhounds which are on fire and are very aggressive. The Triarch are essentially rewriting the storyline lore of the Hellhounds themselves into the Dark Aether storyline for Cold War Zombies. So there's a chance that we might actually see the original Hellhounds back again and we hear the fetch me their souls. Probably in the new voice, which we obviously do here, but instead of the Nova Plague Hounds, we might get the OG Hellhounds back, which would be pretty awesome. Then there's one mention of a private Oleg Gusev, and I don't know why, but he's been banned from going through the teleporter anymore. Naughty Oleg. And then we get the final look here at the Aether Reactor, which is what I believe we fill up with zombie souls to power up the Aether research room that we see in the trailer where it goes dark and you have to kill zombies and it will power it up and then it unlocks the doors in that facility. But overall, this looks like an incredible map. Treyox still going full steam ahead and giving us teasers all the way up to Thursday, but I'd love to know what you think of this decision about the Easter egg in the comment section below. And to make sure you don't miss out on anything Firebase C when it drops, I'll be live streaming at the moment the map goes live here on Thursday, 7 a.m. UK time, 2 a.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. Pacific time on February 3rd. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We'll be covering the map, We'll be teaching you everything you need to know and then we'll be hunting the easter egg on friday but but i hope you enjoyed this little update video hope you guys take care i'll catch you for another video soon